to my channel so today I just wanted to have like a little chit chat with you guys um, I just talk about some things that have been going on in my life or whatever so recently I just got a new job and I start on the 22nd of May and I'm sorry 23rd of May and I'm like so excited so one thing that I really don't talk about on social media that much is my personal life um, I just feel like there's certain stuff you just don't need to share with anybody so I won't give like specific details but just give you the general effects so you can kind of know um, what's been going on you know with myself and I guess my happiness and a lot of stuff that I haven't been able to do because of the job that I'm leaving so um, there is a company that I've worked for and I've been working at this particular location for about a year the person that owns this company he's um, he's owned other companies that I've worked for and he's pretty much has transferred me from that one company to another because he closed one um, which was, which I was grateful for because you know it was better than me just not having a job at all uh, so I've been working at this new location that he moved me to it's a uh, is a dessert place so I've been working there for a year I've been managing that place for a year and when I tell you guys I manage that store I manage that store from the floor up I do um, I place all the orders for the store I was doing all the hiring once upon a time but he ended up um, bringing on an extra person to help me with hiring I um, do payroll I like process numbers like I pretty much do everything in that store except the accounting part is pretty much what I do um, the pay was was good I feel like it was good especially considering the fact you know I'm 25 I'm a full-time college, college student and I don't know too many full-time college students that were getting paid the same amount that I get paid and all that great stuff so one thing with this job that has been very frustrating I mean I do I did or I do love this job um, reason being is because I just I just like managing I like meeting new people it's located in town so you know I meet people from all over the world and I get to chit chat with them or whatever but it just started to become stressful um, the turnover was really high and part of the reason for the high turnover was the owner didn't want to give people a certain amount of pay he didn't want to offer benefits to um, like the full-time ship leaders um, managers they had on the side so people would leave because they get paid more somewhere else or because they have better benefits and really I'm the only one in the store that has medical so on multiple occasions I've expressed to him like you know hey let's do this and let's do that so we can keep people in the store he didn't want to do it so I was just like, you know, whatever. Um, the the thing that kind of got me to the point where I felt like it was time for me to go was when, like, when I tell you this job stresses me out, it stresses me out to the point where, like, I will be asleep and, like, I'll wake up and I'll get, wake up, because I wake up four in the morning ready for this job. So I wake up four in the morning and I'm getting dressed and babe will be, Jimmy was sitting there, like, looking Jimmy will be Jimmy will be looking at me like hey like why are you getting up like you're off today so that's when I knew like it was time for me to go and um, the best advice I can give you guys is when you feel like it's time for you to leave a job you should definitely leave it and that's where the point I had gotten to I was stressed out um, sleep deprived I was like it's time for me to go I've put in a lot of stuff in this job I appreciate you know the experience I've gained from this job so it's time for me to go so what I ended up doing I ended up looking up you know doing some job searches and I'm coming across the store management position at a sunglass place and I was like okay I was like um, you know be, be working in retail I've always wanted to work in retail like an actual clothing store and um, you know work my way up like my whole thing is you know I want to be in a position where I can work my way up and then even being at the yogurt at the dessert place even being at the dessert place that I was working at it was a franchise and the only there was no there's no position above the store manager and I just wanted to be in a place where I can you know work my way up so um, I ended up sending in my resume I sent in my resume on a Sunday that Monday they gave me a call back I had an interview that Tuesday 
I did the interview. I got an interview from the district manager and I did an interview with the store manager because she wanted to see, um, you know, how I vibe with the store managers. They had me fill out an application and then um, they had me schedule an interview with somebody higher, somebody else higher up in the district. So um, they ended up flying out to Maui to come and interview me and I did the second interview and at the second interview she told me, you know, go ahead and fill out this information so we can do a background check. Um, I've never had to do a background check for a job so I wasn't sure if that meant I had the position but I'm the type of person like I don't want to be excited about something unless I know for sure that I have it. I was, you know, telling some of my friends about it and one of my guy friends was telling me like, hey, you know, if they had told you to do a background check, most likely you have a job. And I was just like, well, I don't want to be excited about it until I know for sure. So five weeks went by and I was freaking out to the point where I was like, okay, five weeks have gone by and I, they hadn't got the information back for the background check. And I was like, okay, like I had to think, I was like, did I do anything weird? Like, can I, can they flag me for like getting a ticket for texting? Like that is how like scared I was about this background check. So the background check finally came back five weeks later and it was clear and the lady ended up offering me the position. And the thing that was funny about it, when she called me, she was like, are you still interested in the position? I was like, yeah. And the thing thing is, like, the, all, the whole five weeks that she was, um, that they were processing my paperwork for the background check, I was calling them every week. Every week, I was calling, asking about it. Um, I even called the background place and, you know, was getting information on it and figure out what was going on and all that stuff. Like, this this is how excited I was about the position. And, not, and the thing about it, it wasn't even the fact that it was a new job. It was the fact that I just liked the vibe that I got from the interview. I liked the vibe that I got from the managers that interviewed me. And I had looked up, you know, I had already done research on the company. I looked up the code of ethics, you know, um, the other type of, of businesses they own, what organization they're a part of. And I just was excited about it. So when I tell you, when they called me and told me I had the position, I was like, in the, as a matter of fact, I was in the gym and I was twerking in the gym and that is how excited I was. So the thing that I'm like, I'm just, I'm excited because it's something new and I feel like this position will, is a position where I can express myself a bit more. Like, you know, guys, like I make makeup videos and ever since I've been in, got this job a year ago working at this dessert place, I haven't been able to really do YouTube like I really want to and get into stuff that I really want to. And some nights, like, I'm sleep deprived because I'm trying to, you know, edit a video real quick and I'm only getting a video in once a week or every other week. And so I'm hoping, you know, this new position, because they don't have long, crazy hours, that I can edit the way I want. I can, um, you know, get more uploads and be more active on YouTube. And, you know, check out some of the other people that I follow on YouTube. Because I haven't, because I used to watch a lot of my um, YouTube friends' videos. And I don't get the time to do that. So I'm, I'm extremely excited. And I wanted to make this video and tell you guys about it because, like, I I want to, I guess, you know, give some of my insight. You know, if you're working in, at a job and you're not happy, you should, like, if it's, if it's your, if you're moving towards your career and it's a career that you're not, a job that you're not happy in, like, you should definitely, you know, find a job that's going to make you happy. I definitely, like, I love working at the position, but it just wasn't worth this old job just was not worth my sleep, was not worth my sanity. Like, I was, I'm telling, when I tell you, guys, when I tell you I'm stressed out, like, I haven't been able, like, when, the thing about it is that with this position, like, we're hot, turnover is so high to the point where some weeks we would be extremely short staffed, so I'd be working extra hours. I won't, won't be getting any sleep. I haven't been able to work out in the last week or so. I actually got to run today, which I was excited about, but I haven't been able to work out regularly and I'm still losing weight because I'm so stressed out and I'm forgetting to eat because I'm so, you know, tied in with work and school. And yeah, like guys, if you're ever in a, in a, if you ever have this gut feeling like it's time for you to go, definitely take your gut feeling. And if you're in a job that you're not happy with, you should leave, like most definitely. Um, I know for myself, I'm not the type of person, I don't suggest just quitting your job, but I'm just the type of person, I don't, I'm not a quitter. So I am doing it the right way. I found a new job and um, I put my two weeks in. I actually put my three weeks in because I know they're going to have a hard time trying to find somebody to replace me because to be honest, I don't know anybody that would want to do my job. But yeah, so I just wanted to share this exciting news with you guys and 
I hope that um, I can, you know, get some more YouTube videos out. I'm still working on my website. I hit up my friend and I told him, like, hey, dude, like, you need to get this damn website done before the summertime. So he promised me he would get my website done before the summertime. So hopefully he'll get it done. And I just have... It's just a lot of exciting stuff that I'm trying to incorporate in YouTube and I just want to get more into making videos because I really like doing it. It's a great hobby and it's fun and yeah. So yeah, so stay tuned for my website. Um, I have, I'm going to do a makeup series for the summer so stay tuned for that. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, bbhawaii underscore. Please do not forget to check out my website. It's www.brownbeautyhawaii.com. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. I wore her natural hair for a week straight. She never did this before. And I loved it. It seems it smelled so good and it, it smelled better than her weave and she actually let me run my hands through it. I'm not sure how to tell her that I don't like when she wears weave and I would rather she wore her natural hair more often. How do I express this to her?